Wow, it's been ages since I've played this one. Hello everybody, I'm Garola64 and welcome back to Sonic Fan Games. Today we got another Sage game. This is Sonic Ages, the Barely Made It to Sage edition. And the last time I played this was at the last Sage, and I was very, very impressed, and... I don't even know what- the menu even looks really nice to me. And, uh, the, the coolest thing I find about this game is that it is a... It looks hand-drawn. Literally. <laughs> but I mean, I, th I think it is hand-drawn. Alright, so it's basically a 2D Sonic game. Except, uh, it, you know, it's really pretty. Or whatever you want to say. The whole game doesn't look like this, but I think this tutorial level, which I think I do remember from the last Sage demo, is insanely charming. Because, I mean... Look at this. When, when is the last time you played a game that had something like this in it that wasn't like... What was that game on, uh, uh... Fancy Pants Adventures, that one. That game looked a lot like, you know, like the pen, pencil and paper art style, but... That was kind of like the whole thing. You've run out of ideas. Alright, well, uh... I guess we're good. We'll move on to the main event, then. Look at, look at him looking up! He looks completely different from looking sideways to looking up. He's, he's like, focused, and he's serious about things, and then you look up, and he's, he's so cute. Let's see that idol. Now he's got attitude. Yeah. Alright, Seabed Zone. I definitely remember this from last time. What did I do? I immediately found a... I feel like I did the same thing last time. But alright, so here we go. Now Sonic has color. And I'm not just talking about his colorful personality, he's definitely grown a little bit from, you know, 10 seconds ago. I think what happened to me last time I played this is I was playing through the level and I finished the level, and then there was only one level in the demo, so it basically just, uh, it just looped around and put me back at the beginning, and I kept playing because I didn't realize I had finished the level, or I didn't realize it was a different level, or I mean it was the same level. Let me see if I can get my brain situated. Not a chance. This is reminding me of that part in, uh, in Spring Yard Zone, uh, no, not Spring Yard. No, in Flying Battery Zone, where you have, in Mania, where you have, like, the, uh, there are the spike pillars going around the little island in the center, and you have to, like, go either under or above them. Except that time, it was just weird cat robots instead of spikes, which are equally as frightening, because you never know what a cat robot's gonna do. I mean, have you ever tried to get into the thought process of a cat? They're evil creatures bent on destruction, except for some of them that are adorable and amazing. There's no in-between. <laughs> I, uh, I, I don't know, I, I... I met a cat the other day, and I was like, oh, you're a good... It was a good cat. The cat was like... It very quickly attached itself to me, and it would not leave, like, right next to my leg, and it kept, uh... Kept hugging my leg, and I was like, this is nice. I wish all cats were like this. These robot cats, however, can leave me alone, please. I'm kind of trying to platform over here. They're not making it very easy. Can I peel out? No, I can't. It's, I just want to see him. Look at how nice he looks, though. Like, jeez, a lot of effort went to that. I feel like I'm watching, like, an animated series or something. Or I, I'm playing Sonic Mania Adventures or something. Well, that looks... That looks even nicer with color, and it actually looks, uh... Excuse me? Do you see me coming to your house and blowing you up from above without even- without any notice? I, I don't think you do. Because it's really rude and I learned my manners. My mom raised me right- well, I guess cat robots probably didn't have mothers. But let me tell you, that's probably one of my most hated badniks at this point, because they're just so irritating. Also, alright, so I remember the art style of the game, I remember the the level itself, what it looked like. I don't remember the layout, don't know how different this is, or how similar it is. So, uh, this all feels new to me. I love the placeholder explosions. <laughs> That's too good. In the readme, it said something about, like, there's a lot of placeholders right now, and, you know, who, who really cares? It, it looks fine. And the placeholder explosions look hilarious, so, uh... Alright, and that's Sonic getting through Act 1 there, and is it going to do the same thing it did to me last year, or is there more? This is definitely different. 
and I'm into it. Wow, this looks cool, all right. It looks like a carnival. All right, uh, up and to the left. And now up and to the right. All right, so that music is really reminding me of Knuckles Chaotix. Is that Knuckles Chaotix music? I don't know, that's what it feels like to me. But uh, could be anything. I wanna go this way, thank you very much. I mean, the stage kind of reminds me a little bit of the Knuckles Chaotix aesthetic as well. Like the nonsensical striped patterns in the sky and stuff. Just random land masses that would never really exist. Unlike something like Green Hill with all the loop-to-loops like, -loop and, you know, uh, spikes all over the place, which would totally exist in real life. Hello there. Goodbye there. I really like running up those loops. That looks cool. That part reminds me of Sonic CD, more specifically. Except, you know, he doesn't turn to match what the, uh, you know, the, the perspective of the loop. But maybe someday in the future. Also, all y'all can get out of my face. I like this guy. I know I'm just saying I like things, but, like, I do. I, I just, I like so many things in this world. Including this badnik here, who's just, he, he's not even trying. It was like me when I worked at that survey job I might have told you guys about before. I would just stand there and I would look at people instead of actually getting them to do surveys and I get paid for it. And then when I couldn't take the boredom anymore, I would just I would just try to get someone to do a survey, then they would spit on me pretty much. Not literally, but that's what it felt like. And then I quit, because it sucked. Uh but yeah, no, that was that was a great time. Let's talk about something fun like Sonic the Hedgehog instead of a boring mall job I had two years ago. Oh, that guy was I didn't even mean to kill that guy. Alright, that is now becoming a, a danger to me, because it's pushing me backwards towards the death. Well, we are just speeding along without a sound. Are we gonna make it? Oh no, Sonic! There we are. That's better. I keep trying to drop dash. It's the curse. It's the mania curse, I tell you. They make you love the drop dash, and then every other game you play that doesn't have it, you just feel as like, he's like, something's missing. I thought that was a secret or something. Also, what is this, a Mega Man enemy? I feel like I've seen something just like that in a Mega Man game, but who knows? I've hardly played any Mega Man, so that could have been. Yeah. Fire shield, alright. Am I supposed to drop into the hole? Because. Usually, just random holes in the floor make me nervous. A lot of things make me nervous. I gotta get used to the fact that bottomless pits aren't a very, uh... Aren't a very sought-after game element anymore, thankfully. Like, most of the games I play these days, Mania Mods included, they just don't really have bottomless pits anymore, and I find that fantastic, because bottomless pits suck. And did I just go backwards, like, a bunch? Or does it just look similar? Nope, this is different, I think. Oh, alright. I must descend further. Into both madness and the, I don't know, terrifying circus we found ourselves in. Also, just notice that if I hit the, the booster in a certain way, Sonic just kinda... He kinda runs backwards towards, uh, towards the direction it's sending him. Which is fantastic. Who doesn't love a good high-speed moonwalk? And the signpost still looks like it was drawn for the, uh, the tutorial level. Which is cool. I, I feel like another Sonic's gonna pop out of there and start recreating the Take On Me music video or something. And I'm not gonna fall for that trick again. This stage is the same thing I just played. Look at that, I've learned. Alright, so I guess that's everything for Sonic Ages for this year. There is also multiplayer. I don't know if I'll be playing it with anyone this, uh, this time around. I might check it out with Frank and Dave. We're not quite sure yet, because Dave is still, uh, you know, down one microphone, so I'm kind of postponing some multiplayer things. But uh, for now, that's going to be all. So if you like this video and you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell, follow my Twitter, and join the Discord to keep up with more Sonic fan games and other things that aren't Sonic fan games, because I do a lot of things. I'd also like to give a big ol' thank you to my current sponsors, Mitron, Marks the Cosmic Jester, Austin Coltrane, Beyond, Silva PhD, Random Gamer 157, Henry S, Rob Morrison, Drawbits, Mega Traffic Cone, Crystal, and Mike TGC. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring, it really means a lot. 
And if you have any interest in becoming a sponsor yourself, please make sure to check out the link in the description for more information and all the benefits, such as being shouted out at the end of every single video and stream. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.